In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Tasker to create custom actions or different events to happen whenever you press the Bixby button. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now this will work if you have any of the new Samsung phones that receive the One UI update, so that's Android 9.0, and you have a phone that has the Bixby button. So if you have a Galaxy S8 or 8 Plus, a uh, Galaxy Note 8, a Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, a Note 9, or one of the Galaxy S10s, you will be able to do this. So the first thing that you need to do is have the Tasker application. Now this does cost a little bit of money, so if you are looking for some other ways in which you can use the new additions to the Bixby button, I'll leave some links at the end of this video. So first off, download the Tasker application, and then you will need to sign up for the beta to get the new Tasker secondary app. So once you own the Tasker application, you will then go to this link to sign up for the beta. Um, it's really quick to sign up. You just click Tasker, say that you wanna be a beta tester, and then go back to the Play Store and update the application, and you will have this secondary application show up. So now that you have the Tasker app installed and you have signed up for the beta, go into the Bixby application, and then you're going to go into the menu right here. And if you've never set up Bixby, you do need to add a Samsung account and go through that process, it just takes a minute. Click the menu right here, go down to settings, and then go under the Bixby key. So there's a few different ways in which you can use the Bixby key now. You can have it open Bixby with one press, and then when you double press, it will do something. So it was opening my camera if I double press. But we're gonna to go to double press to open Bixby, and now use a single press to open up a certain application. Now you do have the option here to open an app or you can run a custom Bixby command. Um, I'll do a video about that later or you can check out Jimmy's video at the end of this video. But today we're just gonna to go to the open app, select the settings, and then I'm gonna scroll down here and find the Tasker secondary application. That has now been selected, so that means that when I press the Bixby button once, it's going to action whatever I set up in Tasker. All right, so next we're gonna head into the Tasker application. Now I've just started using Tasker. The sky is really the limit with what you can do with Tasker, but just follow along and these are the simple steps you need to do. So first we're going to create a new profile and add an event. So the event is going to be opening that secondary Tasker application. So here we need to select Tasker and then we need to select secondary app opened. So once we select that, now we need to go and create a task for that app. So there's not really a save button in Tasker, you just need to select back and then it will save it. So here we went back, there's secondary app opened, and then we're gonna select a new task. And here we could name the task, but I'm just gonna select the check mark. And now down here in the plus, we're gonna choose the task that we want. So I'm going to select voice so that I can quickly open Google Assistant just with pressing the Bixby button. So here I'm gonna select voice command, and then I'm gonna select back. And now that we have done that, we have our secondary app that's going to open the voice command. I'm gonna click the check mark up here. It is now saved, let's try it out. So I'm gonna go home, press the app once, and sometimes I've had this happen where I open the Tasker application. If that happens, just make sure that you clear out the Tasker application in the recent apps menu, and then it will work. So now when I push the Bixby button, it should automatically open up Google Assistant. So just like that, it's opening up Google Assistant, and here it's giving me the choice, do you wanna use Bixby Voice or Google? And I'm gonna select Google, and then select Always. So now it pops up with Google Assistant. So again, we can try that. Push once, Google Assistant wakes up. If we wanna go back to Bixby, we can just hold down the Bixby button and it will use Bixby to start listening to me. And then if we want to go back into the Bixby settings, just press twice and then it goes back into here. Now, why would you want to use this instead of creating a Bixby quick command? Well, with Tasker, it opens up the option to do a lot of different things. So let's go back in and we're gonna adjust the task that we made. So we're gonna change this from voice command so we're gonna hold down, select the scissors to delete it, and then we're gonna select add, and now we're gonna go into alerts, and I'm going to add the torch as an option. So the torch is the flashlight. Maybe I wanna turn that on and off with the Bixby key. So here, instead of having it set to off, I'm gonna set it to toggle. So toggle means that every time I push the button, it's gonna turn on or it's going to turn off. 
When you try and use Bixby to do this, you are only able to actually turn on the flashlight. It will not turn it off or vice versa. So now that we have completed that, again, sometimes the app opens up. So let's try and clear it out like that. One press there, it has turned on the flashlight and press again, it turns off. Turns on the flashlight, one press, turns it off. All right, so let's try some other things that we could add to the Bixby key. So if we click plus here, we have a lot of different options. So pretty much any action that you can do on your phone, you would be able to do just by pushing the Bixby key. So here, if we wanna go into our Google Drive and maybe look for a list, we could do that. Or if we want to look for a location, or select different media, so we wanna play a certain song or a playlist, we would be able to do that right from the Bixby key. So let's just do music play. We're gonna select allow. And then here we're gonna search for different files. So once we find the song, just go back, select save. And now if you want to try out your action that you've created without touching the Bixby key, you can also press the tasker secondary. So once you press that, it should play or... Five minutes later. I just created an example of how you could use the Bixby key to play a song from tasker, but I recommend not doing that as there's no way to stop the song. It has to play the entire thing through and there's no way to stop it unless you turn down the volume of your phone. So let's go and show one more example. So I've already gone in and deleted the task. I need to select add new. Down here you do have the option at the bottom to search. So maybe there's a certain setting you want to adjust or something in the phone that you want it to action. You can just come in here and search for that action. So let's say I want to look for something under display. So as I search display, it's going to pop up all the options that I have available. So right here, I have display auto rotate. So I can select that and here I can set it off, on or toggle. Select, select toggle, go back. And then we need to allow Tasker to have certain permissions. And now it has been set, select the check mark, kill the app. So you can see up here, currently I have my phone set on auto rotate. So when we press that button, let's see what happens and there it is now on portrait. So if we press it again, it turns on auto rotate. So just like that, one press of a button, you can change a specific setting, maybe something that you're using all the time. You wanna be able to do that. That is how you would action that item. And that is how you use the new Tasker beta features with the Bixby button. If you'd like to see more of what you can do with the new Bixby features, make sure you check out Jimmy's promos video up here where he's gonna teach you all about how to do that. And if you just wanna use a different application that opens Google Assistant and is free, make sure you check out TK Bay's video over here on the bottom. If you have any further questions about this, please let me know in the comments below. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.